Hi, this is another part of the Mafia Definitive Edition tutorial. And this is election campaign. Can skip the cutscene. And you are going to Vincenzo. Just skip it, turn around, and take a car from the garage. Uh, any car. So you just press enter and spam Q, and you will skip the driving. So jump over the fence as usual, try to block the pawn animation. Don't walk behind him, because that is a soft block. If you get behind him, you won't get back. Or, you will get back, but if you walk behind him and press E on him, then you won't get back. You will just get stuck. <coughs> jump down. If you take the ladder, that's fine, like, but sometimes you can just have a fall, which is better. Here you want to... You want to take, like, the side, like, you hug the wall and he shouldn't hit you. In this section, sometimes it happens that you just get a heart attack in a window, so we don't know how that happens and how to prevent it, as of now, I guess. Like, I had so random deaths in this, those windows that I really don't know what could affect that. And even if I went through the center, through the side, nothing, like, helped. Anything could kill me, so it's probably random. So here the path is the most important, I guess. We just shouldn't get lost. Go after the green signs. And here you can be lucky and like have them not follow you, but usually they will follow you. Now they are not following me, so that's great. If they punch you near that button, it will actually reset the button. Like if you are in the animation, so be aware of that. You will have to click it again. Even even if the bat button appears to be like down, it is actually glitched and you will have to repeat it. Here if they are going after you, don't worry, uh, because if, you, if they are like not on your back, then this door will despawn them. Here you will have a lot of slow walking. And you take the sniper rifle. And you want to headshot that guy. Sometimes the bullet passes through his head, which I don't know how that happens. So I usually just wait for a bit until he's like here. And then when you hit him, if you kill him, the checkpoint will be made. So you just reload the checkpoint. And why do you reload the checkpoint? That's because uh, the animation when you throw down the weapon is like very slow and it will actually move you a bit forward and you can just sprint here. In real time it's probably slower def like definitely but we play in in game time so you have to reload here for that. You don't have to but it's faster. Open the door in front of you. Take the last door. This is another place where you can just take get a heart attack, so ah, 
It's possible to knock him out instantly, but I didn't get that. It depends on like your position and stuff, and how fast you are running. Headshot this guy. Fall through the door. And here you can actually skip the animation. And what I found was like, if you press, if you like spam E when you're like in the middle, it will usually no, well, not usually. It will sometimes let you like open that, and I was too close to it. But you could get both at the same time. It would like skip the animation of this, but I was too far from it. But that's like a micro save. Doesn't really matter. Mostly, it's down to luck if it happens in the run or not. Here, you just run through. Hug the right side and watch for the hole. Enter this cell. Try to cancel the full animation. And here, be careful about that shotgun guy. Go to the car. You will get a checkpoint. Reload it. And now that you have the checkpoint, uh, it basically despawns some police and like resets their position. But it's still very important to know what the police is doing, so I usually hide here. And I watch the map for like 6 seconds. If they are not coming here, you can just get in the car. If you see anyone here, then you just wait for, wait for it to end and then re reload the checkpoint once you get it. And reloading the che checkpoint will actually get you to car and then you skip drive. Here you just enter the car and don't reload checkpoint. That's the only difference. It might be a bit faster like how I did it right right there, but it's a bit riskier if in case a police car would come or something. Here you skip the cutscenes and that's the end of election campaign.